Hi guys, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to show you uh, the process of electro-galvanization. So, what this is basically, it's zinc plating items, you know, galvanizing them. So, they, they, they are like, well usually it would be so it's like corrosion resistant or something. Because that's what you would usually galvanize something for. So, uh, yeah. So, here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your solution of zinc acetate, which would be vinegar and with uh, zinc dissolved in it. So, the way you do that, you just pour some zinc in, or pour some, ugh, pour some uh, vinegar into something and put your zinc in that, and the zinc will dissolve. <clears throat> So here's uh, what I made, some of it. The zinc has been sitting in here overnight, so it should be fairly well dissolved. Overnight seems to work best. So let's pour some in here. So there's uh, all the zinc ions are sort of flowing around in there. And now... I'll have uh, the anode, the sacrificial anode, piece of zinc that I'll put in there. And I guess I'll plate this penny. So I'm going to clean this off real quick. I have a paper towel down here. Just pour this on there. Clean all the. This is rubbing alcohol. Get all the finger oils and whatnot off of it. Because. That'll make it so the plating doesn't stick as well. So yeah, I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so now you can see I have the penny in here. And I have the, the blob of zinc. This is going to be the anode. And now we're going to have to run electricity through it. Uh, what you'll want is about 3.3 volts around there. That works the best. But the only adapter I have here is 9 volts, which also works fine, I found. So yeah, you can see that in there. Sorry the lighting's not that good, but let's plug this adapter in. Okay. And now, I'll touch the positive to this, this piece of zinc. And now you'll see that when I touch the penny, it should plate but you probably can't see it very well because the lighting's not that good. So here we go. You can see it's forming bubbles. And look at that. The plating appears to be fairly good. So yeah, let's let that sit there for a while. It looks like it's growing little crystal-like things on this too, you see. It's really weird. You can see them forming. Huh. Anyway. So yeah, in a second I'll flip this over and plate the other side. Okay, here, I'll flip this over real quick. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm back. It's flipped over. Uh, you really can't see it very well in the video, so I'm sorry about that, but here you go. Poof. The whole thing turns darker. It begins to plate. So yeah, you can leave it in for a while and it'll be a stronger coating. I'm going to try to do this so you can see it. Yep. All 
All right, I'll be back in a second. That is cool. You can see them forming. Huh. All right, here's the uh, <clears throat> result. Uh, I didn't leave it in for very long, so it's not coated completely. But it is coated fairly well. Here's a normal one for comparison. Oops. Yeah, you can see it's quite a bit darker. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time.